Hello, you guys. Welcome to the eve. It is Halloween, so happy Halloween, but this is also the eve of the first day of our 30-day challenge, which I think some of our Australian friends are already in the challenge. So I kind of wanted to post this during the afternoon of the 31st to kind of cover all of all of the world, everyone who's doing this. You guys, as of right now, we are so close to 400 people globally doing this challenge. And if you joined us today on Aquarius Rising Africa with Morne and Shanti, I will show you the episode I did this morning. Let's see here. So we talked a lot. The first half of this episode, we talked a lot about the challenge. Um, so I will link this down in the description box below. But you guys, I am so, 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 so excited, of course, for day one of the challenge, which for some people is right now and for some people is tomorrow, you are going to be doing very basic uh, Marnie Alton's 45 minute bar exercise. Now I am going to go over to that right now. Let me just turn the sound off so that I don't get popped for copyright. And let's look at this bar exercise for you guys. Now, for the men who are joining us, I am so excited you're joining us. Please don't feel like this. I, I said in one of the videos that the NFL also does ballet. And so the thing about bar, what I love so much about bar is that it's, it's really going to slow down and target certain muscles. And through this journey, what you're going to learn is that certain muscles hold different information. And with the bar stuff, a lot of what, what's happening is she's focusing or the teacher is focusing or the exercise is focusing on the, this is Marty Alton right here, on the thigh, the inner thigh, the lower pelvis and the core, all right? And, and in this lower pelvis and core, we have the locking of mullabunda, which we'll get into deeper conversation about that later. But with the thighs, what we're looking at is a lot of held anger. My thighs, when I go to any type of like um, roughing or anything like that, I will sob when they start working on my thighs, especially the inner thigh. So throughout this exercise, she's going to be like right now, it's just the warm up preparing you to work on the lower body. Now you, you see here, she's got this girl in the back who's doing the modifications to slow it down. If you need modifications, let's go a little bit into this. We might hit some commercials. That's okay. Uh, let's see here. So you can kind of see what I'm talking about. So we're, we're working the back here and then she's going to have you start moving into the thigh work. Okay. So this is super, 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 super important. Nothing will change your body quite like bar. All right. She's going to take you deeper into working on your balance, working on, your uh, structural system for people who have spinal problems. If you have spinal problems, this is one of the best exercises you can do because you're going to be strengthening your core. If your back hurts, you need a stronger core. Okay. Um, she'll take you down into the floor at some point. She works the arms and then she's going to take you down to the floor stretching out and then working on the glutes. So the back of the leg, which is also going to trigger support for the spine and is going to trigger in some of that uh, flush of different emotions. Okay. And so this is your first workout, some core, some plank stuff. This is your first workout for the first day. First two days actually is this bar is this, and she, again, she shows you modifications with the girl in the back here. Is this actual, the, this particular bar for, for day one, in day two. And the reason why I did this two days in a row is because I'm hoping by the second day, you will have more confidence and you will be more familiar with it. In fact, with all, there's only a couple of bars I interchange um, with the same teacher. And then it's the same yoga. It's the same kickboxing and it's the same dance. And I'm doing that intentionally again, because I want you to start to get really comfortable and gain autonomy with each of the exercises offered. So let's go through that is your um, that is your your exercise. Sorry, guys, I'm trying to have a ton of stuff on my screen right now. Let's just look though at the first two days of the challenge specifically together. And then if you guys have any questions, you can ask them down in the comments section below. Let me move this over here. All right, let's see here. Okay, that's what I want. All right, so let's go all the way. So again, 
For the whole month of November, Esoteric Atlanta and Friends will be hosting a global shadow work challenge. This challenge will last 30 days, and each day will hold a few activities for you to, to help you in your journey of self-healing, self-discovery, and self-empowerment. I've read this quite a few times. You'll have this in your, in your email that you get from me. I do have some exercises here, like if you're on your period, ladies, um, you can replace your exercise with this period-specific workout and all this, the participating challenges. So day one, Tuesday, November 1, you have the 45-minute bar that we just spoke about. And then the journal, questions to ask yourself. If you did this first thing in the morning, how did it affect the rest of your day? So I've talked a lot about exercising first thing in the morning. Now, that's going to be really hard. I'm going to tell you right now, I don't want to hear the excuse. I'm not doing it in the morning because I don't like getting up early or I'm not a morning person. That's a lame excuse. Nobody likes getting up early in the morning, but people do it. If for now, if you have like a job that you can't, you literally are at your, your work at, you know, 5 a.m. or something and you can't get up any earlier to exercise, that's fine. You just fit it in at the time that works best for your schedule. Now, if you are able to do it in the morning, you're going to start to notice how this shifts your day. So how did this affect the rest of your day? Were you calmer that day? Did you feel more alive during the day because you exercised in the morning? Um, what was the experience of the bar class like? Bar comes from ballet. So it's a combination of like yoga and ballet. Did you have any emotions come up in class? If so, what were they? Can you explore those emotions more privately? So like I said, the thighs, the inner thighs, that's more of an anger-based uh, area to, or area to hold anger. So if that came up for you, Maybe journal about it. Were you expecting that? And before this challenge, if that sensation came up for, for, for you, did you quit? Whereas now you're, you have more knowledge about what that is, so you're not going to quit. You know what I'm saying? So then turn off all electronics one hour before bed. Instead, read a book or write more in your journal and go to bed before 10 p.m. The reason why I'm asking you to go to bed before 10 p.m. is because 10 p.m. To, to 2 a.m. is pit to time of night. And if you go to bed after 10 p.m., you're not going to be able to get as good of a sleep, okay? Between 6 p.m. and 10 p.m. is kappa time. And you're going to study that this upcoming Saturday on Self-Study Saturday. Bonus challenges. So these are just bonus challenges. You don't have to do these. These are just something maybe if you want to add a little bit more into your day. Drink 64 ounces of water today to help detox from the exercise. Um, the detoxing, especially if you're not used to exercising, if exercise is new for you or perhaps you're a little bit overweight, you're going to be detoxing a lot, okay? The water is going to help with that. I would not, however, go over 64 ounces unless you live in a very hot area of the world and you're like a mar daily marathon runner. If you go over 64 ounces or like two liters of water, um, it, it, you, you run the risk of over, over hydrating yourself and over hydration is almost as bad as dehydration. So just be careful about that. And I say, if you're a meat eater, can you go without meat today, replacing, replacing it with veggies? Just something to try on a day-to-day -day, uh, basis. And take a hot bath with salts before bed. Try to relax into the bath, allowing the salts, the muscles to unwind. I do this every night before I go to bed. I've done it since I was in my 20s. Um, this not only helps your, the, the body will absorb the magnesium from the salts to help with the muscle relaxation and muscle repair. Uh, but it will also really relax you. So if you take a hot bath before bed and then get into bed, don't turn on any electronics, just read or journal. You should have a better night's sleep. All right, the second day. So you're going to repeat the 45-minute bar exercise from day one. So it'll be interesting for you to, to have that experience of doing it one day and then doing it the day after, seeing if you felt better the second day, if you felt like you have more control, if something maybe occurred to you the second day that you missed the first day. And then day two, new challenge. So during your morning shower, try to make the water cold for the last five minutes of your shower to help with inflammation and blood flow. And I have two links here. You can research during the day about cold or cryotherapy. Um, cold therapy changed my life. I take, a, I take a full cold shower every morning. So I don't just do the last five minutes. My whole morning shower is ice cold. Um, and if I can do it, Anybody can do it. I don't even own like earmuffs and I bought my first pair of gloves last year. So I am not someone that de deals with cold that well, but it has made such a, a, an impact on my health and my life that I do it every morning now. All right. Journal questions to ask yourself. Were you sore today? If so, how did the soreness affect your workout? What emotions did the soreness invoke in you today? So that's one thing I know a lot of people who are not used to exercising will sometimes 
back away from exercise because they're sore. If you stopped, if you didn't exercise every time you got sore, your body would never change. Okay. You're just going to have to deal with soreness. Okay. So yes, um, I've been sore for 16 years and the days where I'm really sore, that's usually where I have my best practices, but soreness, especially if you're not used to it, it can invoke more emotion. So just observe that, you know, is this new for you before you did this challenge? Would you try to start an exercise program? And then when soreness came, you quit for a while. And then you know, you just got into a rut of never having a breakthrough because for some reason you thought that being sore, you needed to rest, which that's not the case at all. Did new emotions pop up today different from yesterday? If so, what were they? How did going to bed before 10 p.m. affect your sleep and your day two of the challenge? Okay, what was the five minute cold shower like? Were you able to breathe through it? Is cold therapy new for you? During the course of this challenge, notice how your body starts to respond to the cold shower. Does inflammation go down for you? Do you have more energy during the day? How does the cold affect your mood? Hint, hint, uh, cold therapy treats depression. List five things you like about yourself. All right. And then turn off all electronics one hour before bed. Instead, read a book or write more in your journal. Go to bed before 10 p.m. Bonus ch challenge again. Drink 64 ounces of water today to help detox from the exercise. If you're a meat eater, can you go without meat today? replacing it with veggies, take a hot bath with salt before bed, try to relax into the bath, allowing the muscles to unwind. And so we're just going to look at the first two days right now on the eve of the challenge. We won't look any further than that. Um, and so, yeah, this is all very doable stuff. Very, very doable stuff. Um, modify where you need to modify, replace different exercises if you need to replace them than what's suggested on the template. Um, I will say too, one thing I want to remind you guys. So all this nastiness we see in the world that we're aware of is not going to change until we change. All right. We can arrest everyone. We can clean out the places where they've done these activities. But if we haven't healed our own wounds, the, these controllers will just start again. All right. It's the, we're the man in the mirror. We're the one that has to take care of ourselves first and heal ourselves so that this, so that we up our vibration. So none of this shit ever happens again. This is the secret. This is what Yahshua taught in the missing books of the Bible. This stuff, this right here. Okay. So by you diving into this exercise, into this challenge, even though it's going to bring you to your knees at times, and you're going to be overcome with so much emotion, you're going to have the experience to clear out these emotions so that your vibration can lift. Once your vibration lifts, it's going to positively affect those around you. So it's going to be like a domino effect, like a lightning bolt or a storm, right? A storm coming over the horizon. Okay. This is of the utmost, important, uh, uh, utmost importance. I said this on Aquarius Rising Africa this morning. We're dealing with three karmas. So karma is just your work. It's just cause and effect. You're dealing with your own karma from this life and lives before you're also dealing with collective karma. We're all dealing with the collective karma we're facing, okay? That's, that's really telling right now in our timeline, right? We're all collectively having to participate in this war, basically. So this whole idea of sitting back, eating your popcorn and watching a movie is not accurate because if you're sitting back watching a movie, you're not participating in the collective work that you were put here on this earth to do, okay? So by doing this, you're participating in that collective karma. You're healing that karma. You also have your inherited karma. And so you are also healing generations of, of trauma that came before you, that's in your DNA. And so that's really, really, really powerful. And so at the um, start of this, I want you guys to be so excited. You are the storm and this is your weapon. You, by upping your vibration, by doing your work, by acknowledging where your weaknesses are, it's not going to be fixed in 30 days, any of your shadow work. It's going to take time. But by just doing it and just recognizing it, you've already upped your vibration. And so I want you guys to know I'm so proud of you. I'm so excited let me know down in the description box below how things are going. If you've already started, if you're in Australia or another country, and you've already started. Uh, let me know if you're in America or this time zone and you are closer to this time zone and you're doing it tomorrow or you're watching this on November 1. Let me know how it went. How did the 45 minute bar work go? Was there anything Marty Alton said in that workout that like was a lightning bolt for you? Was there something said that you went, aha, that's it. 
Let me know. Are you sore? Are you excited? If you started the cold showers, how did that go? If you're drinking more water, how is that going? I know you're peeing a lot, but that's okay. You're just releasing toxins. Um, if you're removing meat from your diet for this challenge, I want you to tell me how you start to feel by removing meat from your diet. Um, hot salts bath, going to bed before 10. Let me know how this is affecting you. Also, if you want to join a private support group, I will put that link down in the description box to our signal group. All right, guys, I love you all. I think you are all badasses. You were put here. You would not be put here on this earth right now if God did not think you can do this. Your body is your resistance. It's your GPS system. Any type of injury you think you have, that is just your opportunity. It's just a puzzle. That's all it is. Dive into it and keep me posted. All right, guys, have a good day, evening start. Wherever you are, keep me posted. We got this. We are all just walking each other home. Bye, guys.